I obviously knew we were getting some rain changes this season 17 because they quite frankly put it on their website, but I was not expecting it to be this big, this much, and a complete overhaul of the entire system. And I'm excited to bring this video to you guys today because we are going to be living in the limelight very soon when it comes to the rank situation of this game. And now that I've completely switched over to controller, it's time to get better. It's time to get back on the grind and maybe even play some tournaments because this rank system finally is going to be fingers crossed good i will tell you it's completely different from what we have now and i am excited make sure to leave a like on the video subscribe to the channel if you guys want to stay up to date all things apex legends news related and if you guys want a chance to win the 75 dollars weekly giveaway we're picking the winner tomorrow don't forget if you guys want guaranteed ways to get down on that wheel any glitch uh, order using code j miles at checkout qualifies anybody that's a youtube member over here qualifies and anybody that likes comments and subscribes will be entered for a chance as i'll go through all the videos throughout the week and pick one winner from each to put on the wheel as well and then also anybody that wins any of the matches on stream throughout the week as well we'll spinning that wheel tomorrow and we'll announce our winner here on the video but firstly i want to let you guys know that i'm actually going to take the leap you guys know i've been trying to save up and buy a house lately we've had a lot of sponsors to do so but not all the sponsors i gotta be honest are my favorite but this one actually looks really good they didn't ask me to say this part but i'm gonna play it in my free time because it literally looks that good when you see it you'll understand so this game is called leap it's a new multiplayer shooter that's on steam xbox and playstation it's all about fast paced action and high mobility grapples and double jumps and jetpacks and the movement of this game is just so good that's why i really like it and especially the hoverboard feature because it's totally new leap launched with modded servers as well built into the community on day one so these offer unique game modes which i'm really jealous because i wish apex would have done this and it's going to be free to play from april the 27th through the 30th and they're giving away six alienware pcs and hundreds of game codes so to win stuff go get the game for free record your coolest gameplays in one of the six modded servers and post it on twitter instagram or tiktok using the hashtag take the leap i'll be honest with you they didn't even tell me i had to come play the game as part of this i really just wanted to because it looked that good so if any of you guys want to play with me i'm down so now let's talk about the apex legends rank changes that are this huge and when i say they are huge i'm not lying at all they are really really massive so i want to say for clarity first yes these are spoiler alerts right none of this is public quite yet well it was made public yesterday i did not illegally obtain this information respawn do not come at me i am just discussing information that was already made public because people on the inside decided that they were going to make information public that wasn't supposed to be public so look don't get mad at me okay and if it makes you feel better i'll say any of the information in this video could be a flat out lie we're all wearing tin foil hats right now showing up for our cult meeting so let the apex rank cult session begin i just realized i'm still in my underwear okay so yesterday i was live streaming when former data miner and even youtuber decided to come into my youtube chat which you probably all know mr i loot games and he was actually dropping some crazy hints about the rank system from intel that he got from somebody on the inside i'm surprised that no one has really talked about this yet but these are are massive and i want to go through these individually and talk about them so the first nugget that he dropped on us as he saw me playing ranked last night was hey pushing the masters the ladder point system is going to be interesting so i was like what what is going on with the ladder point system what the heck is that well it seems like apex is no longer going to be doing this whole rp situation anymore and he also released golden nugget number two heavy leaning towards placement now in the rank system the rp is now going to be gone the lp is now going to be in what is lp well <clears throat> if you didn't pick it up earlier it's going to be ladder points and there's also obviously going to be no split this season now before we jump on to the last nugget of information he gave us about the rank system or about the rank changes coming i also wanted to make mention that a couple of videos ago I had made mention that I think maybe if the rank system was a little bit more of a reflection of the ALGS system, maybe it would be a little bit more competitively balanced because I think right now the rank system is like totally different than what we're having right now with like the ALGS. Like it's kind of weird when you look at Call of Duty rank, it's like a one-to-one -one comparison of what the CDL is like, right? Like it's a actual one-to-one -one reflection pretty much of what it's like to play in a pro league. Like you're playing against players your rank, the rules are identically the same, the gameplay is played exactly the same, the bands are exactly the same but in apex it's like totally different like the gunplay is totally different people play totally different the meta is totally different and also the maps are totally different they don't even play on uh, on like any of the maps except for storm point and world's edge right but on, on rank for us we play olympus we play storm point world's edge everything in a tournament environment they play with tournament rules which means that heat shields also are banned and competitive however for ranked we don't have any of those situations going on at all so a lot of differences that exist and i think that overall if people had a little bit more of a competitive environment that was i guess a little bit more consistent maybe it would make for a better rank system well 
But whenever I had discussed that, I know a lot of you in the comments were not happy. While I agree with some of your points that maybe it shouldn't be an absolute one-to-one -one reflection, I do think overall the state of rank needs to be a little bit more like the competitive environment and the pro league environment as well. And the reason I say this is because whether you want to accept it or not, they sadly do set the precedent it doesn't really matter like what you like as an individual and i know that's a hard pill to swallow sometimes because yes you are the consumer i mean i guess if a lot of people ended up leaving ranked it wouldn't work out anyways but most every successful rank system normally is a reflection of what the pros play as well and the reason is is because a lot of these pros drive influence and people want to feel like the pros they want to play in what seems like a pro environment while not necessarily playing against pros but rather their skill level and like i said i know a lot of you disagree and i'm open to your opinions down in the comments but here's why i think that it is true when you don't have as much regulation in the game it really allows for a lot of random and sporadic activity and behavior which calls for more inconsistent game my examples is not having heat shields in a pro league match really causes teams to force rotate on time and appropriately however when you're playing ranked a lot of teams can play so stupid out in the zone and they don't get punished for it therefore they get rewarded for playing stupid a lot of times i think we all agree that the whole hint of battle royale being competitive is to win the actual match not just racking up a ton of kills and placing horrible as much as you might not like to hear it algs actually does that a little bit better than the rank system does at the same time the algs system actually does a better job at rewarding kill points as well rather than just too much placement the current rank system does not reward you for good placement or good kills only both simultaneously which is definitely never the play truth of the matter battle royale having a lot of rng involved is always going to be inconsistent to some degree you should be rewarded whether or not you get a lot of kills or if you get good placement and this may be the hardest pill to swallow of all is that i think apex honestly has hurt itself throughout the years of making a rank system that didn't reflect the competitive environment accurately for so long so that people got so used to being plat when in reality they're gold or silver players or diamond when in reality they're plat players or pred when in reality they're diamond players and so now when people don't get the rank because it's too hard they don't think maybe i suck and need to get better they think maybe this rank system just sucks and it's horrible because the pros get listened to i'll be the first to say i'm quick to say pros complain and gripe a lot and they get their ways a lot of times i totally agree i'm not saying that you're wrong about that when you have a rank system that accurately reflects the pro environment it actually motivates people to play a lot more and grind a lot more and actually get better but while i don't know exactly what entry fees are going to be how exactly ladder points are going to work what's the placement points going to look like what's the kill points going to look like we have no idea it might not even be as close to algs as you think However, according to this, it does seem like it's going to be heavily placement based, which I think is good and RP will be gone and ladder points are now going to be the brand new thing. There was also one last detail that was mentioned here and it's not specifically mentioned about rank, but I'm a little confused as to what exactly he meant by this. So I told you guys earlier that basically respawn has this thing where heat shields are not allowed on the private matches. If you go and change it from standard mode to tournament mode, you'll see that basically heat shields get disabled in this rule setting oh he also leaked another detail where he said and heat shields are cool and all but what about dot 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 never mind and then i was like well what does that mean and he said well just make sure to pay attention to the redeploy balloons in the next trailer and i was like well what the heck does that mean are we gonna have a different redeploy balloon is there gonna be a new ability is heat shields being replaced with redeploy balloons where you could just throw them on the ground and pop them up seems like it might be the case but in that case what's the deal with the valk ult why is she even useful anymore mobile redeploy balloons i don't know what's going on but it seems like a lot is actually going to be changed here he also said that there was going to be some major poi changes and that more would be leaked out today so make sure to like comment and subscribe if you guys want to stay up to date all things apex legends news related let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below i know a lot of you are going to disagree that's totally fine i'm open for the disagreement i'm open to hear you say jay i disagree with what you said about this or that definitely want to hear your opinions down in the comment section below about these changes leave a like on the video subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys all in the next one take care of yourselves and until next time i'll see you all later gators